This is the new and improved pin diode Geiger counter. I found the circuit online at alanyates.com. I think it's Y-A-T-E-S. He's Australian. He came up with the circuit to use a diode as a Geiger tube for a Geiger counter. And it works very well. This is a piece of americium right here. I'll bring it close and you can see. You get a couple of clicks here and there. It'll also work on these uranium glass beads, but at a lot less rate. So you get a little click here and there. Um, I put together this tube. Inside this tube is a PN4117A JFET. There's a pin diode, there's a bunch of resistors. And there's a capacitor in there. It's all sealed tight. It's actually waterproof, that tube. And the rest of this box is all shielded. There's a battery right on the right. The circuit board on the, I mean, on the left is the battery, and the right is the circuit board. And this right here is the potentiometer. This is actually a voltage divider inside, which you use to adjust the circuit. If I turn it, I could do this with one hand. I'll turn it to the right. You see now? Now making it way too sensitive, so you have to turn that back the other way. Which I can't do with one hand. Oh, I did one hand, alright. Basically you turn it until that light stops flashing, and then you're good to go. But it does work, it works very well. I have to compare it to my Geiger tube to see roughly what the count per second is to the millirem, but I'll do that another day.